Hello, I'm Matthew from Ludobox, and today I'm going to give you an overview of a game for the hungry, Doggy Bag. So, Doggy Bag is a game for uh, two to six players, ages eight and up, and it plays for around 20 minutes. This is a bluffing game and an appraising game. So, the way the game plays is very simple. You're dogs and you want to get bones, and you need to steal them in order to get them. So, you have bones under your screen, behind your screen, and these are the supply and you're going to lay the bones uh, to place the bones inside of the bag so here it's quite full it shouldn't be at the beginning of a typical game but that's just for the example so the way the game plays is very simple at every round of the game uh, you're every player is going to place bones secretly in the bag then you're going to select rolls activate the powers of the rolls I'm going to explain that later and then draw bones from the pile so the bones have different colors, as you can see, and all of the bones are worth a certain number of victory points, and uh, the black bones are bones which basically are very smelly and not that good. So if you get the black bones, uh, you get punished. If, if you get too many of them, you can even get eliminated from the game. So the, the game round starts with the first player tossing the two coins. So you just shuffle the coins, toss them, and the uh, addition of the values of the coins gives you the number of bones every player is going to put in the bag. So you're going to select the bones from behind the screen and put them secretly into the bag. So for example, if you want to get the bones, you're going to place colored bones. But if you want your uh, opponents not to get that many bones, you're going to place some black bones because, you know, uh, they are bad for people. So let's imagine I want to get some really good bones. I'm going to place these two red bones. Everyone is going to do the same secretly. And then once everyone has done it, you're going to go to the second phase of the round, which is the tile selection. Every player, starting with the first player token player, um, will select a tile. So this tile has a value and a power. The value is at the same time the initiative and also the number of bones you're going to get in the bag. So for example, I'm going to take four, there's a three, and there's a one. So in this case, um, I didn't talk about the powers because I'm going to talk about them later, don't worry. Um, we have selected our things and then we have uh, to pick bones. And I, as the player with the highest number, I'm going to go first. So I'm going to pick bones one by one. I'm not supposed to look, but I'm going to because uh, I want the example to be good. So I pick bones and hopefully I don't get a black one. So I got four bones which are not black. So that means that my bet, my, my larceny is okay. That means that the other players with the smaller numbers cannot go. They cannot go steal. And this is good for me because I'm the only one to score points. And I can even go glutton and take a fifth bone, another extra bone. But if I have a black bone at any point during my, uh, my larceny, everything but the black bone is going to go on the chest. And the chest is basically an area to manipulate. It's not my victory points area. Uh, it's not counting towards my victory, so I'm not so happy about it. And remember, if I have a black bone, uh, it's a penalty. If I have three of them, I'm out of the game. So if I get a black bone, the next player with a higher number is going to take turn. So that player would draw bones, and if he gets a black bone, the other player would, etc, etc. So um, after this, we have finished a round of the game, and this is really good. So now about the, uh, the, the powers of the tiles. There is something about the power of the tiles. You're going to be able to look inside the bag or you can manipulate what's behind the screen and exchange what's behind your screen with uh, contents uh, on the chest. And the chest is also to be manipulated. You can even manipulate what's inside the bag. Additionally, you have a special power. When selecting the rolls, if people have selected rolls that are quite high. So for example, let's imagine that uh, I selected seven, 
uh, the second player selected six, and that player w really wishes to go first because he knows that everyone has put like golden bones and red bones, which are really good into the bag. And that player could take any tile and flip it. And only one player can do it per round, and this is the hot head. And when a player takes the hot head, that player is going to go first, and that player is going to choose a number from eight and upwards, and you take that number of bones. You don't get any powers, but you go first and you take a lot of bones. But you have a lot of chances. Uh, it, it's likely that you're going to get caught while doing so. So we're going to play the games, uh, rounds of the game, until one of the two uh, end conditions is fulfilled. The first one is that uh, people got eliminated and there's only one player left. That player wins the game instantly. Second victory condition, uh, if the, the, uh, the screens are, are empty, basically, you empty what's behind the screen, uh, you do the last round and then you count everything that's in front of your screen, so that's your scoring area. And you're going to score points according to the chart here, and the bones are worth a certain number of victory points. So that's basically how you play doggy bag. So as you can see, it's a lot of bluffing. You want to tempt people into getting a lot of bones in the bag. But at the same time, if they get too greedy, well, they may have problems. So they know about that. So sometimes you try to tempt them. They don't take the bait. So uh, you have to take the bones and you uh, get uh, caught instead of them. That's it for Doggy Bag. You know almost everything about this game. So have a nice game and see you on the box.